Against size and speed, the Wendigo monster of Native American lore has become one of the most notorious flesh eaters of all time. I kind of regret making you go alone in this one. And behind us, you just hear this like howl, scream, how it like screeches out with like all of the air that it can. And as we're crossing, I'm seeing two more of these coming from our flanks. We're going more off the road. What the hell? Oh my God. I have to go in through that? Hello? Holy sh That's three. Again, cryptid vibes. How close are these things willing to get to civilizations? What are the extent of their nesting grounds? Oh, oh my God. There's a deer. You'll just come across three. Carcasses all in one area. I think you have an attachment. I really think you do. What the hell? I don't know. Maybe this is what the bog lady eats. All right, guys. Today's adventure starts off right now. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> or what we're doing right now. And that's the best part. Okay, so what's going on? Because I just drove here and you said you wanted me to do something today. Yeah, so tonight. Wait, I have to stop you for a sec because I'm, I'm tripping right now because I know you and you have something you're about to do to me that I don't know, no. but it's scary because you're gonna put me through something. No, I'm kind. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm kind. I know that face of yours. <laughs> Okay, so today Lamar left it up to me to choose the location for the video. Um, and I think I picked a unique one. I know we've kind of been on this path where we've been going into forests recently and investigating out of this book. So this location is still out of that book. I actually sent you the story to your email if you want to check that out. And that's- You sent it to my email? Yeah, it's a chilling story about tonight and I sent it to your email. Okay. So stop reading before you even read any further, okay? I want to tell you, a little bit further of what we're going to do tonight. And oh. sorry, not what we're going to do, what you're going to do. What the f chills? <laughs> I'm challenging you to go to this location completely alone. You are not doing that. Completely this is alone. A, this is bullshit right now, this is a joke. No, it's not a joke. Are I'm you actually smiling. serious, son? <laughs> you're actually serious right I'm now? I'm so excited. So oh excited. my, I shouldn't have let you freaking do this. No, you shouldn't have. You should never put that in I my honor. Jesus Christ. Son. I will be with you. Like I'm still gonna, obviously I'm with you right now. We're still gonna drive to the location together, everything okay. together. I will be staying there. If you need me, I will come to wherever you are, but you'll be alone. Jesus. You'll be fully alone. Okay, let me just read this story nope. because. One more thing. You've been getting targeted recently mm. and a lot of things have been draining you spiritually and I feel like it's just really targeting after you. So maybe it wasn't the smartest decision for me to let you go alone tonight, but I want you to wear my protective ruin that you make me wear. You want me to keep this with me? You have to wear it and I want it around your neck and wearing it. Okay. And if you're feeling like something is after you or you're feeling a little bit more targeted, just rub it three times. Rub it three times? Yeah. Okay. Happy? Yes. It's gonna be around me the whole time. I'm gonna rub the shit out of it because I know that this spot you're going to send me to is not gonna be chill. I'm gonna everything out of, first off, everything out of this book has just been complete crazy. So yeah. like, if it's still out of this book, I know I'm gonna be rubbing the shit out of it. <laughs> you're gonna come back with it, and there's gonna be a huge hole from where you were rubbing it. So there's intensely. gonna be nothing left. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I haven't seen this story yet. Now you have. That is sketchy. Why are you doing this? Why not? I It's something different and we've been wanting to do more challenges recently with one another so I just think this will be a good start. Chelsea, this is sketch. Like this is actually freaking me out already. And this is payback no way. from when you chained Kim and I alone in a building. In Fairfield? Yeah. This is payback for Fairfield? Payback for fa Fairfield, yeah. So like I have to go alone and like potentially pierce my ears out again. I oh should have got God. you earplugs. But yeah. Chels, this is actually so terrifying. Like this is creeping me out just by the thing that haunts this area. And another thing too is like, this is land that we've never been to. It's unknown land, uncharted. 
we've never been to this exact location. I found it on Google Maps after looking for a couple of hours. I found it. So I have the right area for where you're going to go mm. tonight, but it's somewhere that we've never explored. Okay. So that adds a little bit of intensity for for you tonight. It's already intense though. Like it's it's something out of a horror movie. I'm actually tripping right now. I, I Jesus. All right. Are you, are you <laughs> I'm calm because I don't have to go with you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean you're going to be I'm going to drag your ass at some point in there. Freaking crazy. Yeah. Okay, so the way Grim Lake started, when to go lake, I was already getting anxiety. The moment like I was driving, the moment we started and hit record, mm -hmm. I was already getting anxiety. I don't want that to happen again. So please tell me this is fucking fake. No, it's not, honey. You're doing it. Don't, don't really? give me that look. I feel bad. This is a joke. Like, like no, are I'm you serious. playing right now? Like, this is a joke. This has to be a joke. You got this. You've done worse. You're joking right now. You're joking right now. Drive after the location. Let's find out. Off we go. I'm low-key tripping. I'm not 100% sure what we will uncover, but this story is wild. Mm -hmm. And just for everyone who hasn't seen our forest videos or any of the videos we've been doing for the past little bit, we've uncovered so much, so much. Yeah. And like, just from that one book alone, I can already tell this could actually be very, very positive. Like we could come up with some like bang or evidence i don't know but this story is trippy but also very cool i'm so down to do it and try this even alone even alone but like that's just the name of the game like i'm so down to do it i know it's gonna scare the shit out of me but i'm so down to do it but i don't know like my heart's beating so fast right now yeah i could only imagine <laughs> but i'm still like excited you know so that's just how i'm feeling right now like I think it's a good energy to have going into the investigation. You know, like even though yes, you're going to be alone, yes, you are going to be scared. It's nice to see that you're excited about it. Yeah. That brings in some like good energy and protective energy. You know. I'm not down for that piercing in my ears. Deep down in me, I hope it doesn't happen here. Mm -hmm. But also a big part of me there with the piercing in my ears from our previous videos, I just feel like that was because of that certain location. Yeah. Right. Definitely. So I guess tonight's the, the night to see if it is that location or if it's very much something targeting you. This is a full on experiment again. This is a challenge and an experiment to see if we can document this thing that it's not just like a spirit that's crossed over. This is a thing that just, well, I guess it is a spirit, but it's more on the dark side, I guess, you know? I don't know. It's 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 hard to explain. I'm gonna go over the history and the info in a bit. We have six minutes until we get to our location. I almost want to back out right now. Nope, no backing <laughs> out. This is uh, what episode ten. Yeah. Episode ten of Portals Unknown. That's wicked. Episode ten. This is the Big Ten, guys, where we're just trying to. I don't know, document more of the book. Try and just like push our limits a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're about six minutes out. Damn, like, I just hope today goes well for me. I hope so too. Yeah. This is the road. This is the road. Oh my God. We are one minute away from where I have to enter in this spot. Now, I briefly saw this, but I don't know. I'm low-key tripping now. Like, look at this road. There's nothing but just nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. I get, like, extreme abandoned vibes. Yeah. Which aren't always the best. It just feels like you're just stranded. You know? Well, that's kind of what you are tonight. Chels, this is actually scaring me. You be you better be joking right now. Like, you're joking. No, you're I'm gonna not. Be you're going to be joining me, right? No, honey. 
I'm taking the car keys and I'm leaving you here. Are you actually serious? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna take the car keys and leave you here. But yeah. No, but like I'm going in there by myself? Yeah. <laughs> what the f So, we're pulling up here. We're going more off the road. <laughs> what the hell? Like what the actual hell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I think you can turn into here. This is this where is you can This is the park. spot? I think. Yeah, this is where you were telling me about. Yeah, so I will be this parked thing. here. Oh my god. What, and I have to go in through that? I have to go through that path, wherever that leads, into like... Into the abyss. <laughs> into, the, into the abyss! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know if you're actually bullshitting me or like actually gonna join me, but like this is just... Like if I'm going in there by myself, I'm both pumped and I'm like scared shitless deep inside. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Chills. I know. I know. Stop playing with me right now. You're gonna be joining me, right? No. <laughs> oh, you're tripping me out. Oh my gosh. I mean, it seems peaceful. Yeah, right now. Yeah. What happens after dark? Don't so go many things. Don't and what go do into they the, say? Don't go into the woods at night. <laughs> and what have we been doing for like the past 10, no, past like two months, we've been going into the forest at night. We've been doing it for a while. So look at this. Someone was burning boots, baby. Boots. Looks like someone had a big campfire. Yeah, really. And one over there, and one there. Is it just like campfire central? <laughs> You're gonna have just wild Lamar running through the forest and there's gonna be me here with random people making bonfires. <laughs> <laughs> you got groups of people. You have one group here, separate group back there, another one group there. there. Another one right there, jeez. Another one right there. Damn. Good thing we don't have a red car, so this bog like, lady actually, might not even appear. I had rented one. But it fell through last minute. Yeah, you were trying to rent a f***ing red car. I honestly was trying to rent a red car. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. I For this specific event. Yeah. That you just wanted to summon this bog lady on my ass. <laughs> this is craziness, man. Like, this is actually, like, ridiculously creepy. Mm-hmm. It is. It, I mean, it makes sense, right? If she was buried back in the forest as soon as she got hit. Like she didn't have any funeral service. She didn't have anything. She was just promptly buried in the woods probably that same night. Damn, this is gonna be a fun ass night for you. <laughs> so you just make yourself do the easiest thing today. Hey, I still have to be alone out in the middle of nowhere too. Yeah, that's true, we are right? in the middle of nowhere. So it's not that like it's easy for me. Yes, I just get to sit in here and make sure I don't see a little man running back with a flashlight. Ah! <laughs> Probably will. AKA you. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I don't know what to think. Goodbye. <laughs> that's what you're gonna think. <laughs> A speaker just told me I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what to think. <laughs> Goodbye. This speaker just told me my fate. <laughs> All right. This is freaky, Charles. I'm gonna be real. This is really freaky, man. Like it just—it feels like we're so stranded everywhere. Definitely feel alone. That's for sure. You feel alone? Yeah. Like, there's nothing out here. It's just, like, absolutely nothing. And you could potentially run into the man as well. True. So odd, I guess. That's, like, the best way to put it. It's just odd on this road. Let's just go. It's so weird. 
Are you picking up any vibes right now? Because I feel like totally off. Do you? What do you feel? I just feel like there's something mysterious. Like look at that set of bones right there. There's what? a there's a rib That's cage. A big rack of ribs. Yo, look at this. This is crazy. They're full animal skeletons. There's one up there too. What? Why are they just? What the hell? That's crazy. Yeah, it's like all intact. Wow. Oh my god, look at all the fur. All the feathers. Yeah, it's something happened here, Charles. What? <laughs> yeah, keep going. There's another one up here. Oh my god, it looks like something got like badly attacked. Oh my god, there's two more, Charles. There's two more here. Look at all these bones. Everywhere. Oh my gosh. This is a deer. Yeah, look. Jawbone right there. What? One, two, three. What the hell? I don't know. Maybe this is what the bog lady eats. The bog lady's eating deer? I don't Damn, Charles. Like, they're, th these are pretty fresh. Look at the leg, it's still there. Yeah. Okay, so we just drove up the road here. We just found three deer skeletons. These are corpses still laying here. There's like more feathers and stuff. There's more back here? There's more fur. No way. I don't know if there's more bones. I don't think so, but like, there might be pushed back. No way, man. This is definitely someone's feeding grounds. This is nuts. Yeah, this is crazy. What the hell? That's three. That's like, that's like, again, cryptid vibes. Those are, yeah. You don't just come across three. Carcasses all in one area. There's even bones out here. Right there. Yeah, those are bones right there. Feathers right there. Wow. Yeah. Damn, Charles. You're in for a treat tonight, hon. Look at all those feathers. Where are they from? I don't know, that could, I, honestly, I, I have no clue. All right, I say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are windmills. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. All right, let's head back, reboot a bit. Man. This is actually really f chills. Yeah. You don't you don't just come across three. No, I know. That's a little sus. <sighs> no way! Oh, Man, there's... this is like cryptic. I think there's... Looks like a lot of people do throw things in here. There's another one here. There's another one there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No way. Another one. That's four deer. Four. That's four. I think that's another one now. Charles, this is not right. This is not right. That's four. That is that's, what the hell? I've never come across that many. And like y'all know, I search for bones. Yeah. Okay, let's reboot, Charles. That was f***ed up. Mm -hmm. That was, like what happened there? I don't know. That was cool, but also scary at the same time. 
Like it's always uneasy walking into something like that. Yeah, but I, like to me, it looked like either first off like a bear got out of hibernation, was like, screw this, I'm just hungry, I'm gonna eat anything. Mauled the family of deers or a Wendigo. Long story short, we have, well I do at least, have a lot to work with tonight. And I'll tell you the history. For everyone watching, you guys are probably wanting the history right now. This spot where we are right now is known as Terrence Bay. And this is the home of something called the Bog Lady. The story goes like this. The Bog Lady is one of my favorite stories according to Daryl Walsh. There is a legend around here that a lonely lady hermit once lived in the woods off the road near a bog. Though harmless, she was feared by the local children and had a disturbing habit of walking along the side of the road at night. So often drivers would come across this dirty vision as they rounded a sharp corner on their way home. One night a red car speeding down the road came around the corner, hit this woman and killed her. Some local residents claim that she was hurriedly buried in the woods. Rumor has it that if you drive down the Terrence Bay Road at a full moon in a red car doing 100 kilometers an hour, that's like 65 miles an hour for every American folk watching this, she will appear in your back seat. Another ghost frequently seen in this quiet community is the apparition of a man that walks down the center line of Terrence Bay Road. He appears suddenly at night, giving a driver just enough time to swerve around him. And at times, however, this has been impossible when the shaken and distraught motorist walks back in search for the body, none can be found. This is a crazy story that you that I picked for you tonight. That you picked for me tonight because we have two. And what I noticed about this spot, regardless of the fact, um, right after you told me where this was, when I Googled it, I figured out that this was the only bog area in this whole area. So surrounding this story, this was the only area that this bog was in, mm -hmm. um, which you did a good job at finding. Thank you, thank you. So this bog lady's known to be seen here. I'm not one to believe that you need like a certain something to summon stuff haunted's haunted, haunted. Mm -hmm. it's just gonna be haunted regardless like you don't need a red car i feel like, yeah. a su like a super moon or a blue moon could work better but if she's here and known to be here then she'll make herself known if she wants to exactly no matter what yeah so that's the story here maybe a wendigo maybe like i don't know well something ate those poor deers <laughs> That's so like, sad and sketchy all at the same my time. God, like I, I I did collect the bones, but like <laughs> I have feelings. You have feelings here? Yeah, but I don't wanna like I don't wanna scare you. Let's just say I'm going in there anyways. It's just a lot of uneasiness. But it also could just be that we came across those like carcasses. But I just I kinda regret making you go alone in this one but like I'm not going so you'll be fine I think the spirits here they won't cause you harm um, the spirits here won't mm -hmm. cause you harm we don't know what kind of cryptids fairies gnomes whatever else is in that forest we don't know what's in there yeah but I'm hopeful that you'll get some information from the lady from the bog lady I hope I don't run into a bear because bears are out of hibernation right now like what if they're just hungry as hell. They just want to eat whatever. Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. That's all I can say to that. Run. Run back to me. I'll drive in there if I need to. You gotta to. leave like, a, like one door open at least. All right, get out of here. Oh, man. Get out all. Scat. This is the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. If I don't come back, you're gonna have to walk into that forest and find me by yourself. Oh, I'll be taking the Jeep right through. If I, if I like don't come back in at least an hour, something yeah. happened. So like for real, you're gonna have to go in there I know. and find me somehow. Okay. You have your walkie talkie? I got my walkie, I think. Yeah, I got it. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I got you. All right. All right. And be safe, okay? You got this. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for doing this to me. The one that you're supposed to love. I do love you. Damn. I love you too. All right. Damn, this is it guys. This is the moment of truth. Looking for the damn bog lady. Is there a lady here? The bog lady in particular. 
Oh my god, look at this tree, dude. What the hell? There's more skeleton right there. Okay, something's super off about this tree ahead of me right now. Like it's just... I don't know, something happened here. So, Lamar has gone into the forest to the point where I can't see him anymore. Not gonna lie, I do feel kind of bad, but the whole point of this is to challenge ourselves. We've both been talking about pushing ourselves and trying different things, so this is one of them. There's like a plane going above me right now, but then I heard like a bang. Not gonna lie, this is a lot more scarier than I thought. And I was already tripping out. You have to rub this like a mother Excuse my language. Hello? Charles, lock your doors, please. I think those people in that car got out. They're all locked. Okay. So there is people parked kind of near Charles. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird. <sighs> Damn, dude. Okay, so I'm looking for a bog lady. Oh my God, this is creepy as hell. I'm looking for a ghost lady. My name is Lamar. My name is Lamar. Oh my god. This is creepy, yo. This is creepy as hell. Where do I go? No. <sighs> There is a ghost lady here. Are you able to let me know who you are? Charles, are they leaving? Chelsea, are they leaving? I hear them moving. Chelsea. No. Hello? Are you are you trying to talk to me out here? I heard the car move. Yeah, that was just the other people. They they've left now. Kidnapped. I'm looking for the bog lady. I heard there was a story or a lady here that is known to appear along this road and at a home near a bog. Hello? Holy sh Oh my god. I am going to be completely honest with all of you guys right now. There is one thing about ghost hunting you guys have to understand. When you are in environments like this, especially when you're alone, it's a lot more scary than being, you know, 
at your own home. Watching it through your screens like this is insane right now. Hello. So far I have most likely look by the entrance inlet in law. What do you mean? What do you mean inlet? Oh my God, holy sh Guys, I feel like I'm like, who was that? I know it's really scary for Lamar to be out in the forest completely alone right now, especially in a place where we've never seen during the day. Like neither of us have been here, trekked through this forest at all. So I do know that this is really intimidating for Lamar and it's really scary for him and I appreciate and respect the fact so much that even though he didn't want to do this, he's still out there doing this for for the sake of finding out what this location is. Okay, I can see a bit of his light peeking through. Okay, now I just turned off the light. Okay, I'm going to check up on him. Something feels weird. Like, my gut just feels off. I feel like I'm gonna lose my head right now. Who's over there? I keep, I keep feeling like, I keep feeling like someone is standing there and I feel like I'm seeing them right now. I just don't know for a fact. Is there a bog lady here? Oh man. Listen carefully. Larry. 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 Are you one of the men that is seen on this road? Guys, there's something about this forest that's just... There's something off about it. Is there a woman? I'm looking for a woman actually, a spiritual woman that's known to be in these parts. It's said that you come out on a blue moon, you were hit by a red car, so it had to be this century or something. Can you verify this story please? Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real, I think I'm losing my head. Already gotta stay strong here. What was that? I think I heard a coyote. I, I knocked. Can you knock again, please? Oh! Who's there? That is her footsteps behind me. Where if there's like a bear here? This is not chill. So I found a way down through here. Ah! Those behind me. Who's there? Who's there? Train. Holy shit, I'm, 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 I think I'm losing my head. Oh my God. Looking for the bog lady. 
This has to be the dumbest thing I've ever accepted in my life. Like, the fact that I am going in here by myself right now is telling me so many different things. Hey, are you okay? I think so. I'm slowly losing my head, Charles. Yes. Wow. Stuff has been going on out here too. Just make sure you're safe, okay? Oh my god. I, 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 I feel like I shouldn't go forward right now. Charles, I think we're going to have to do this together. I'm hearing stuff. What kind of stuff are you hearing? I've, uh, um, I'm hearing footsteps directly behind me. Don't forget to rub on your pendant. It'll bring you protection. Protect. protect. Oh. Charles, it just said protect, first off. And it's uh, something said on the spirit box that I'm not going to make it. I'm going to try and do this for a little bit longer. But I think I got to turn around. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, just do whatever you're comfortable with, and whatever you do, don't go right in front of you. What do you mean? I'm just walking forward right now. Should I think you need to turn around and Wait, go more like see. three o'clock or six o'clock? Something in here. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, give me a second here. Are you able to make a noise if you're the bog lady? Behind me, behind me, behind me. Are you behind me? Chels, get the other camera ready right now. I think we're both gonna have to take this one. I don't mean to chicken out like this, but just wait until you see this forest. Who's there? Hey, that wasn't part of the plan, man. Who? Who's there? Hush. Who? Who's there? I have to show you this footage, damn it. Just remember, try your best to stay calm so and so things so feed off of your fear. I'm rubbing the hell out of this. Chelsea said not to go in front of me, but this one right here, this path goes even farther in. What the hell? Ah! Who's there? You guys had to have heard that one. Holy sh! Holy sh! Oh! You know, the fuck was that? On my life, there was a white shadow, a white thing. Nineteen twenty. Right there, right there. Something's moving. 
This is trippy right now. I hope that was just my eyes. I'm shaking right now. I apologize, guys. I know you're probably sitting at home, like, go farther, but, like, if you were here right now, like, words can't describe what this feeling is. Chels told me not to go down this way. Right there. That was something from a different world. That was something from like straight up like a different, that was not any typical animal. Right there, right ahead of me, there's like crap. Desolators. Desolators. Foolishly pushed, agree. I just feel off about this spot. Like I feel very spiritually blocked from this spot. Like something here knows that I can tune in, but they're not allowing me to. Like I'm restricted. I'm hearing like, like a drumming noise in my ear. but only in my right ear. <laughs> I'm really curious to see if at all, if he heard any crying, cause I heard crying. I heard crying, a loud bang. Thank you for visiting. You're welcome for visiting. Can I know who I'm talking to please? My name is Chelsea. I'm a paranormal researcher and investigator. I go around to different locations all over trying to communicate to those who have passed and moved on. I hear you were known as the bog lady and you lived in these woods a long time ago. Is that true? Drumming in my ear. And again. I just, I feel so spiritually blocked. Like it's so hard to tune in recently. It feels kind of like someone put like a black veil over me and closed off part of my spiritual senses. Which worries me. I'm just listening right now. Because whatever I heard, like in this moment that you guys have been watching me alone, came from ahead of me. The number three. Listen to that, listen to that. What about the number three? I want to know if the bog lady is here. Someone wrote a book, a story about a bog lady that lived near a bog. 
marshy areas, a forest, and is seen time to time. Did I just hear you farther down there? I think what I saw was a deer, maybe, but that was, like it scared me so bad. The way it moved was very unnatural, but maybe the angle I'm at just did that. I'm certain. I know Chelsea was trying to do a challenge on me, but this is actually like, I feel unsafe. Like I actually feel unsafe and I'm trying so hard to keep a level head here. Hello? Beware of the forest people. That's what I just got in my head. Disagree. I didn't say anything. It is not an easy thing to be alone in those woods in a haunted location. It definitely heightens your anxiety. Charles, how are you doing? I, I, I don't think I can do much more of this right now. I'm doing okay over here, bud. How are you doing? Something deep in my gut is telling me that I gotta stop right now. I know you did a challenge, Chills. But like maybe you need to step foot in here and just see for yourself. Like this is actually one of the trippiest fours I've ever seen. What did that just say? I like to come here. Hello? What the? No, 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 no. What the f Pressure on my back. Standing inside? I like to come here, it said. Are you the bog lady? Did you just touch my back? Did I hear you in the distance? Was that you making noise? Guys, you have to agree with me. This is one of the sketchiest forests. think right now guys I actually don't oh, I gotta go back hello Charles I'm gonna make my way to you I gotta Who the who's there you hear that right 
think someone just pulled up. I'm good. Did someone just roll up on you? Spirit box just keeps saying. Yeah, car is slowing down, looking at me. You're driving off. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna make my way to you. This is not right. Okay. How are you doing? Ah, get on the car. Stephanie. Okay, so I have so much I need to tell you right now. Yeah, yeah, get in here. Oh, that was you? That was me, yeah, that was me. Sorry. Use the door. What did, what did I just say about the door? Use the door? No, 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 no. What? Use the door. Use the door. Female. Female, something just followed me in there. Okay. It could have been the bog lady. Cut the cord, cut the cord. Okay. Jesus, hell. Medication. What just happened? That's never happened. Ooh. You okay? Ooh, you have a, you have a strong. Enthusiasm. You have a strong energy with you. I have a strong energy yeah, with Yeah, like me? you got in the car and like, I, I want to like, like shake something off. Really? Yeah. You want to shake something off? Yeah, like I just have the urge to like, like okay. shake yourself off. I don't know what this is, Jones. Like I, in there is a different story. Once you see that forest, I know you challenged me to do this by myself. The only issue is deep down in me, it's dangerous for me to go in there. Like it's so dense, it goes on. And like the way the trees are, we gotta go about this together for the next 20 minutes. Why? Mm-mm. Why? I know you challenged me, Charles, but like- Where is this? It's, it's actually like, like dangerous for me. Like my gut was telling me to not do it. Like you picked a really f***ed spot. Okay, well. Like, I'm sorry, like, I, I'm really trying to, but I'm, I can't because I'm stuck in the same spot. And I heard some, like, weird ass noise in the distance. What'd you hear? I wonder if we heard the same thing. I'm not gonna tell you until after. But I, like, we need to go and check that together. Seriously. I, 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 I don't think we should go back in there tonight. Why, though? So you send me in there. But like I'm telling you, like you have to at least like check this. Like just step in there. Like it's like no other forest we've ever done. Like it it's I think it tops Grim Lake. Or at least matches it. I could I could feel that for sure. I think it tops it. I don't know what to tell you. Like I, I wanna keep going. Over, over. But like I'm I think like something's gonna happen if I go back in there. Kill them, follow your gut. Let's go together like we'll come back and do this together like to be honest it gave me such a headache like it was scary like th what i heard in there was not that's the car okay. what did you hear what did you hear like i don't know i thought i heard like something outside but what what kind of stuff did you experience in there like what was coming up when spirit talker what was going on so I heard footsteps like directly in the mud behind me like 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 weird stuff mm -hmm. and it was behind me it was with me felt the pressure on my back saw a white figure thing but I think it was a deer but it just moved really freaking weird mm -hmm. and like to be honest we need to come back to this spot and straight up hike farther in there once i got in there this was like okay but the farther i trekked the worse it got the worse it got and the worse it just felt deep down in me was like do not go like i've never I felt, I like i have never felt someone so close to me and so like hesitantly wanting to be beside me it like it's not even funny that is so sketchy when you walk at me saying don't go ahead of you I was straight, like I was straight up walking 
going like forward in that moment. Wow. And he said, don't go that way. And so I went to go try the other way, saw that white figure. And then I heard some like movement and weird ass, like non-human sounds. These were not human made sounds or animal. This was something else. So maybe what we should do is like come back kind of around the same time that we did for this time, but us go in the forest when it's still day, go as far as we can and then check it out while the sun comes down, do our investigation and then come back. What happened to you? I heard crying, like Shut whimpering. Up. I heard a big bang, like a big loud noise. <laughs> And then I saw a black shadow standing right outside of the, the jeep, like right near the water. You're joking. No, I'm not joking at all. And then on Spirit Talker, it said that, um, on Spirit Talker too, it said like, you're scared of me. And then like strangled and weird things. And did you have any ringing or any like drumming noises or anything in your ear this time? Surprisingly, no. Okay, cause I did. Oh. And it was in my right ear, so I quickly Googled it. It said it could be tetanus. What is that called? Tetanus? Yeah, tight. No. What's that condition called? The ringing in your ear? I, I forget. No tinnitus? Tinnitus? I can't, I can't remember it. But um, it was saying, too, that it could be a, a message from a spirit telling someone to go <laughs> Telling someone to go home. So how I interpreted that was that I was getting a message from a spirit to tell you to come home, which would be, I'm your home, right? And then as soon as I was talking with that, you were like, I can't do this, I need to come back. My nerves are shot, Chelsea. Honestly, like, yeah. You picked such, Five you picked such a crazy spot. And I don't even think you under, like you, I don't even think you knew. I had no clue what I was signing this. you up for. No clue, but. I think you have an attachment. I really think you do. And that was part of the reason why I wanted you to go alone tonight was for me to confirm if it's you, the locations, whatever it is, but I think rock, 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 rock. I think you have something attached to you or trying to attach themselves to you. I don't know for sure, but I don't know. Okay. I'm feeling so much emotion right now. So many ghost hunts go so many different ways and like they just it just feels like this case tonight something's wrong. I really tried. Like I straight up tried. I did mm -hmm. so much better than I thought I even would. Mhm. Mm okay. It takes balls to do what you just did. Don't underestimate what you just did. It was brave. Mm. I I couldn't have done it. Oh man, I'm tripping. I felt so vulnerable in there. Police. Something weird happened in there. The sounds that I heard, I can't even, like words can't explain what they even were. Like it sounded like a scream, but like at, like half of that also sounded like, like a an animal. Mm -hmm. But it was not like a bear or a deer. It wouldn't have been a deer because they're like quiet. Was not a dog. Couldn't have been a coyote or a wolf. I've never heard any of those animals do any of that. There was something in there. Like I actually feel like the more we do forest, the more like, I don't know if it's just like intuition or like just like le legitimate like what's here in these forests but the more we do these forests like the more things are happening like it's like we're opening up a spiritual box and like the more we do this the more we're getting the more we're finding the more we're like carrying with us it's actually like sir, 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 sir. it's scary mm -hmm. it is I think you hit that nail on the head for that one. We're uncovering a lot, more than we ever expected. I can't believe you actually did that. What, oh, you think I was gonna pussy you out again? <laughs> I don't know. I just can't <laughs> believe you actually did that. It was reassuring seeing your little flashlight run. Oh, you could see me running? <laughs> at one point. <laughs> through the forest. Yeah, at one, at one point I'm like watching and I'm like, oh, there's this light. And then I was like, wait, it's over there now. Multiple spirits. <laughs>
Whoa. Like, we didn't run into the bog lady. At least I don't think so. I think you did. You think I did? Why? I think she was with you. But she doesn't mean any harm. I think she's just had a bad, like... People bad have made go. a bad name for her. But it's not... It's not who she is, what people say about her. She's not mean. Mm -hmm. Any woman who goes to live in the woods is... Is... Nice. <laughs> She's so trusting with people living in the woods. No, but I, honestly, I don't think that she has any ill intentions for humans or animals. I think I think she was with you, though. Someone was with me, and someone was also in the distance. Like, maybe there is a cryptid, maybe there is a thing in here, but whatever it is, I don't think any of us should be alone in a mm -hmm. force like that. And when I say that... I'm, I'm legitimately talking about the way the trees are, the way it's just formed. Like it's like a f movie. Like it's, it's like a rogue beast or like a cult or just like shadow people. Kind of like, like that force in Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, like that. that, but it's like you can feel like over and over and over someone with you like so much more than grim lake and grim lake was Wild. bad keep that in mind yeah. grim lake wendigo lake was really bad and this was just like like maybe a notch higher i'm not joking like no, I, I, be I'm, I believe I'm, you i believe you yeah yeah you know all right guys well that's a wrap for the bog lady area i don't know I, this is something that we have to talk about and come back more prepared because I am passing you information that I am legitimately serious about. We have to go into this exact forest in a different way than just what we usually do. I don't know what it is, but we have to really prep up for this one. And for everyone watching new to the channel, if you guys just came across this channel for the first time haven't ever seen us before go to our profile we do extreme paranormal investigating check out our videos we have a vlog channel too where we do a lot of behind the scenes stuff daily vlogging extra stuff too all the links are in the description below literally go down check them out everything's linked down below so make sure you're doing that become more involved with both of our channels and with us we give you guys how it is we give you guys paranormal investigating our encounters we just want to share it with you guys each episode's different sometimes we get a lot sometimes shit goes down you know and we just try and give you guys our encounters as is and just right to your screens wherever you guys are in the world that's what we do so hit the sub check out our stuff this is just something we're gonna have to come back to because I, I don't think I can go back in there alone. It was that bad. Well, thank you for sending me alone in there because I almost like, if I stayed in there any longer, I would have probably started panicking, so. Yeah, I heard you scream a couple times. You heard me? I was that loud? Yeah, you were. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Maybe I'll send your ass in there alone because that was trippy. That's okay, I'll go make friends with the bog lady. All right, guys, until the next episode. Till the next. Till the next one. All right, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, share this out with as many people as you can. You guys know the deal. With all things considered, I did a lot better than I thought I could. And we're gonna have to return back here because there's no way in hell I'm going back there by myself. So, thanks for tuning into this one. A little bit different than our regular, but I hope you guys enjoy this. We'll see you in the next one.